Good morning, grade five. Our lesson today is chapter 10, lesson one. We, yesterday, we learned the first part of this lesson is how to measure an angle. The second part of this lesson is how to draw angles, how to draw an angle. So, uh, also today, we're going to use our protractor to draw that measures 150 degree. Draw A, A, B. Draw A, 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 B. You see this little girl? This is the ray. Let me draw it for you again. Um, where is the two girls? Not drawing. Okay, no problem. You see A, B, ray starts from A to B. You see it, girls? A, B. I'm going to draw it. The vertex will be A. Place the center mark of the top on A. So that zero degree mark is along AB. Follow along the scale to the 150 mark and mark point C. Then draw AC. So angle C, A, B is 150. Again, how are we going to draw it? Okay. I'm going to draw A, B. I'm going to draw A, B. Ray, A, B. Then on the vertex A, here, A, I'm going to put the center mark of the protractor. I'm going to put the center mark of the protractor here on A, on this point A. Now it's not a vertex, it's still a point. It will be a vertex later when we're going to draw the angle. On point A, I'm going to put the, mar the center mark of the protractor. Since AB, AB, Ray AB is on the left, so I will choose the scale that zero will be on the left. Since AB is on the left, so I will start, I will choose the scale that zero is on the left. I will not choose zero on the right, I will choose zero on the left. Okay, girls? So, I will start from 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 30, 40, till 150, and I'm going to put a point here. I'm going to put a point here. This point, it will be C. And I'm going to connect it or to join it to A. And now I got my new angle, B, A, C. Okay, I choose, I used the outer scale. I used the outer scale, why? Because the outer scale, the zero starts from the left, where I draw A, B, I draw A, B on the left. So I'm going to choose the scale that zero will be on the left. Okay, girls. So now I'm going to uh, show you a video now. Uh, I want to tell you, uh, you see it or you cannot see it, okay? Because I faced a problem yesterday that the video was not seen. You see the video, girls? Can you see the video? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Well, now you can see it, right? Yes. Okay. No. We're trying to learn how to draw an angle. In order to draw an angle, you need three tools, a pencil, a protractor, and a straight edge. 
you also need to know what the size of the angle will be. In this case, we're going to draw a 55 degree. You need to think about what that angle will look like. It is smaller than a 90 degree angle. That gives me a pretty good idea of the fact that it will be an acute angle. The first thing you need to do is draw a vertex. Then you line up your straight edge and it connects to that vertex. So you see the, the first step going through the going to draw a vertex. You're going to pull it. Then you're going to draw a line from it. Draw a ray. It is the same. You're going to draw a ray or you're going to draw a point. Then you're going to draw a line. By the way, you can draw a line from the left or a line from the right. You can decide by yourself. You can decide by yourself to draw the line from the left or to draw the line from the right. It's up to you. You can decide it by yourself. But after you decide to draw it from the left, you have to point from the same direction. You have to choose the same from the same direction. If you choose to draw it from the right, you will choose the scale that zero will start from the right. If you're going to choose the scale from the left, so you're going to choose the scale that zero starts from the left. And try to be quiet so you can be able to listen to the video. Can you continue straight edge? And now you put the protractor right on your vertex, lined up, and it's pointing to zero. And zero is on the outside. Now, so I'll use those is to count up to 55. Point. I'm protractor at 55. I'm going to draw a little dot. Then I'll move my protractor away. And I will line up my. With that dot. And connect to my vertex. Now I'll draw a line from my dot to the vertex. Move my straight edge away. Draw my directional arrow. And I've made a 55 degree angle. Let's try the same process with an obtuse angle. In this case, we're going to make an angle that is <coughs> straight edge here. Down. And the first thing we do is vertex. From the vertex, we line up our <coughs> this time we make the lines go from the vertex to the right. And we well, now the line from the right. So she's going to choose the scale from the right that has the zero that will start from the right. Inside of our protractor. Move it out of the way. Line up the protractor so the vertex is on that cross. And now we need to move the protractor so the right lines up with zero right on it. Now with our pencil, we're going to find 142. Now on the right side, I want to use the inside numbers because I want to start out at zero. So over here, I've got 140. I go up just two degrees from there and make a dot at 142. Now I move my protractor out of the way. Get my ruler. Line it up with the dot and the vertex. And I draw another straight line. I have a 142 degree angle. The last thing I want to do is draw my directional arrow to show which angle I measure. 142 degrees. <laughs> Teacher? Yes, just wait one minute, please. <coughs> I'm going to watch.
another video to show you uh, how to draw the angle. Draw an angle. One tool we can use is a protractor. In order to draw an angle with a protractor, I first need to create a ray. To do that, I can simply use the bottom edge of my protractor as a straight edge to draw a line. We know rays will go on forever in one direction, so that means I can use the other edge as my vertex. On my protractor, I have my circle here in the middle to line up my vertex, and then I can line up my ray along that black line. When I do, if I want as you see girls in all the videos and as i said we are all focusing on two points that you have to place the base of the protractor on the ray that you draw and you have to place the center of the protractor this small circle on the point or on the vertex or on the beginning of the ray that you draw draw a 90 degree angle i can simply come around to 90 degrees and make a mark where it's going to be. Again, I can use my protractor as a straight edge and connect my mark to my bottom ray. Now, we're gonna label it with a box in a corner to show it's 90 degrees. We have our angle. We can use our protractor to draw an acute 50 degree angle as well. Again, I'm going to use my protractor as a straight edge to create my first ray. I'm going to then line up my vertex with the circle and my bottom ray along that black line. It's going through now, 50 degrees. I have two 50 degree measures on here. I have a 50 degrees here and I have a 50 degrees here. Well, we know 50 degrees is an acute angle measuring less than 90. So one way we can tell is this one comes before my 90 degrees, so that must be 50 degrees. My other choice is look at where my bottom ray is. This would be considered you see, girls, she said, I have 50 degree here and I have 50 degree here. Which one she's going to choose? The one on the right or the one on the left? She's going to choose the one on the right. Why? Because her ray starts from the right. So she's going to choose the scale that the zero starts from the right. Zero degrees, and then my angles need to increase from there. To do that, I would have to follow the inside arc, meaning again, I would be using this 50 degrees. So we're gonna make a mark by that 50 degrees. Now we can pick up our protractor and use that mark to connect to our vertex to create the other ray of our angle. We're gonna go ahead and label an arc on the inside to show which way we turned. And now we know that we have our 50 degree angle. I need to draw a 135 degree obtuse angle. So again, I'm going to start by using my protractor to create my bottom ray. Only instead of my ray pointing off to the right, I'm going to have it point off here to the left. That means I need to line up my... So since she drew the arrow to the left, so the starting point will be here, will be here. Not on the arrow, the start point will be here, will be here. Okay, girls, she's going to put here the middle the mark of the protractor here and all the ray is on the left all the ray is on the left so she's going to choose the scale that the zero will start on the left text on this end when i line it up on this end to get to 135 degrees there's 135 degrees here between 120 and 130 there's also 135 degrees here between 130 and 140. To know which one to use, I know it needs to be obtuse, so I know it needs to be the one that goes beyond 90. I can also look to see which way my ray is pointing. Since this is considered zero degrees and I want my values to increase, I would be following the outside arc. When we follow the outside arc, again, we're using this 135 degrees. I can make my mark there, and then use my protractor as a straight edge to connect that back to my vertex. I'm going to label to show the direction that I measured, and we now have a 135 degree angle. We need to draw a 250 degree reflex angle. The problem is our protractor only measures up to 180 degrees. In order to do that, we need to remember the 250 degree reflex angle plus the angle on the inside combined to make a complete circle worth 360 degrees. So that's where we're going to start by taking our 360.
okay girls we have the last video how to draw angles let's say I want to draw an angle XYZ that is 133 degrees so I start with a straight line a small line here I label this to be zero what I do next is to put my protractor on this line remember that this black line needs to be on this red line and this point needs to be at this point Now, 133, I will start counting from here because this is 0. And since this is 0, I start from the outer scale. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 131, 132, 133. So I put here at 133 and I will take away the protractor and draw this line down here. Some people make the mistake of drawing the line to the top of this point. That's wrong. You are supposed to draw the line to touch this line zero here. And your angle will be here. Alright, because an angle is when two lines meet at a point. Alright, so your angle will be here. Now, you have to label your angle now. X, Y, Z. Y is in the center. That means Y is where the angle is. X and Z can be at either point, which means X can be here or X can be here. Alright, so X, Y, Z, this is 133 degrees. Thank you.